This presentation was on how to be a proactive learner throughout your A-levels and will also be relevant for any further education. So to begin with, it's important to prepare before the lesson itself. First of all, know what the lesson will be on before you get there. This is a crucial step in beginning to get your mind in gear and starting to link together your previous lessons with a bigger picture of the whole A-level. By knowing in brief terms what the lesson will cover, this will allow you to arrange time to do some pre-reading, either individually or as a group. It may be that you already have been given a scheme of work, but if you haven't, politely ask your teacher if your class can have a printout of the overview of the lessons, just so you can briefly prepare before. Alongside this, you may also ask the teacher for recommendations for pre-reading to do for the next lesson. This may be done in conjunction with the homework set, so you can consolidate your previous lesson and prepare for the next at the same time. With this knowledge of what the basic overview of the lesson will be, you can build a level of familiarity with the basic content you will be covering before you even get there. This will mean that during the lesson, instead of just covering narrative and description, you can begin to push into the deeper levels of thought that are demanded from the A-level programme. If other people have also prepared fully for the lesson, you will also be able to bounce ideas off each other and share high level of thoughts and more original ideas. Pre-reading will also help you formulate questions to ask the teacher during the lesson in order to firm up the foundations of your knowledge. You may write these on post-its and put them on your notes or simply highlight them on the page to make sure you remember to get them answered during the lesson. It's also critically important that you are physically as well as mentally organised before your lesson. This will include making sure you have notes from any pre-reading well organised as well as relevant co course textbooks and other resources with you. This also ties into the importance of having an overall high level of organisation in terms of your course folder by making sure all information is easy, and easy to access and well sorted. Even by preparing briefly before a lesson, you'll already have something to contribute, which as a result will mean you'll be pushing into deeper levels of analysis, engagement and evaluation that are re rewarded at A level. This section we're going to look at during the lesson. So during the lesson it can be easy to just sit back and watch the, everything unfold this might have been acceptable at GCSE, but at A-level, uh, if you want to progress, you must push yourself. Here are some tips to help you progress. Firstly, make sure you get all your questions answered. It might be helpful to write them down um, on a post-it note to make sure that, they're that you ask them and that they're asked at appropriate time. Always ensure you make notes that will be easy to read and accessible during your, vis your revision. You may want to colour code your notes or use uh, coloured page markers for key information. Also, during the lesson, always ensure that you are uh, making links to other topics or lessons. These connections will help you gain a wider scope of the topic rather than, than in isolated blocks. If you struggle to write down all the information given during the lesson, you might want to use a dictaphone or record the lesson. However, it is in, uh, wise to ask your teacher uh, if you can record the lesson, because they might not agree. Finally, and most importantly, stay active. Always contribute during the lesson. This will help cement your knowledge uh, for, and formulate deeper ideas. Go. Following your lessons, we would recommend that you consider doing the following. Double check you have comprehensive notes and compare them with your classmates to plug any gaps and to make them as helpful as possible for when it comes to revision. Take responsibility for one of the key topics and do some wider reading on it, taking notes for the whole group, while others do the same for the other key topics, so that you can efficiently cover them all between you. Keep abreast of what TV programmes, films and books are available to enrich your learning. However, do be careful with this. Some are more historically accurate than others, so these come with the important health warning and are no substitute for proper history books and your teacher's notes. Make sure you use your free periods effectively to do these additional tasks or your homework. Also, make sure you take advantage of the many helpful resources that will be available to you in your school and local libraries. Meeting up with classmates informally to discuss the topics you are covering can be a great way to help each other along with what is a demanding course. Working as a team in this way is also excellent preparation for the sort of collaborative work you'll need at university, whether you choose history or another subject, when you'll be expected to be a little more self-reliant than you need to be at school. Thinking ahead to revision, start thinking about putting your notes into whatever forms work best for you. For instance, recording your notes onto podcasts, 
creating posters involving mind maps, or putting together flashcards of key facts can all be great ways to help you revise. Consider setting up group wiki spaces, which can help you share resources and notes with your classmates. They're easy enough to set up and are worth the effort now, rather than when your exams are looming and you desperately need those last minute notes.